fishing where I lost that fish the other day. There was someone in the swim where I had the two fish out of the other day. But yeah, I'll take it to the top so I can jump off and keep you updated that the fish taken there's fish taken right in front of me, so I'm gonna jump off now. Uh, these fish are getting very wary about what's going on. One come up and out of my bait about three times and then just they just were not taking it down. So I'm just keeping it on my pellet. But yeah, like I say, it's been very, very wary. I'll put a few more freebies out around it. They're taking the freebies. Got about four or five fish out there. But they, they keep passing through like a little channel. It's just, it's not having a hook bait for some reason. I don't know what's going on. I've even gone down to a smaller size hook. Maybe that might help. I don't know. But they are cruising through. There's a bigger fish out there. I do keep seeing them move, but obviously it's quite windy. But I am on the back of the wind and the island is kind of sheltering there quite a bit. So I'm not getting bothered by it too much, but it keeps drawing back on me, if that makes sense. So the, the, the line keeps coming towards me. It's not what I want. I want to be a little bit further out. It's quite hard to cast because uh, I've got that right above my head. But yeah, I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to uh, see what happens. I think I'm going to put a little bit more to the left. I think I'll give that a bash. Well, the fish seems to have switched off now, so I'm going to give it another 10-15 minutes. So I think I'm going to call it a day, and then I'm going to get up early and get down here for first light tomorrow. So I will continue this video on until I can make myself another one. So we'll see what happens. Just gone 6am, and I'm back down the res. Let's swim. I think I can get up the tree and have a good look. I'm going to just start my life back a bit like that now. Let's see what's going on. So I'm going to try and light anyway. Yeah. You see much happening on top of the water. Fizzing and that. So I've literally just come to the other end there. But I'm going to head around the other side because obviously we've had southwesterly winds and pushing down that end all week. I've seen the majority of the fish, but apparently they do. Coming to this one now. Oh, this is pretty good actually. Got big open there. Open with a pad. Yeah. I'm going to keep pushing around. I'm going to jump off now. But I'll keep you updated and see what goes on. Just got back into this swim, and just over here, it's in a really nice swirl on the top. So I'm not going to hang around, I'm going to get some uh, floaters out there and see if they start taking. I'm going to give it a little while, I'll probably give it 45 minutes to an hour as I do, let them get a bit of confidence, let them get up, get a bit of a feeding frenzy. This channel over here, that normally, that's, that's where it's been producing really well, you've got, the, you've got the first channel here, the second channel there, and then you've got another channel over here. But what have been doing, they're coming down here going around here, back through here, and then down the back of the island there, and then down this channel here, where I lost that fish the other day and where I was fishing yesterday. So, the pads there. But I'm gonna jump off and get some floaters out there. Well, as you can tell, back up the tree. I'm just keeping an eye on the water and see what's happening. They're being very, very weary about how to take in this bait. I think it's been pressured a bit over the last few days and these fish are not stupid. I think they know when they're being fished for. They are slowly coming up taken but it's very big of a crash over there on the pads then. Where it was though. But they are coming up in the back channel as well, around the other side. So that might be a, I can't actually see anything. I assume in the, ch the first channel that I just pointed out to you, uh, and the, the channel over to the left there, coming up over there as well. But I would say it's very little and often. So it's just tops over the back. They are, they are taking up from over the back. So it's like a pretty decent fish as well, to be fair. 
That's what I saw him taking last night as well. So, I don't know. Yeah, keep watching the water before I put a line in. Give them a little bit of confidence. Keep putting a bit of freebies out little and often. Just watching one there. There, there is one the opposite side. I'm going to try and draw them into me. I want to try and keep them in the open water a bit. Just keep away from the snags and all the pads and everything. Best I can. Best I can. But yeah, I'm going to leave it there. It's nothing of size, it's location when it comes to something like this. It's just got so much characteristics about it. But yeah, I'm gonna get a still shot and get this one popped back. So they are still taking off the top out there. And hopefully, I can nick a bigger one. But when they come in looking like this, don't matter about size. Just look at the colours on that. Maybe blooming days. <laughs> Coming up nine o'clock now, and they just seem to have switched off. It's still in the area, but they do keep seeing them. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. The wind's picked up quite a bit, though, to be fair. But I don't know. I'll keep plucking away and see what happens. It's all going to be So, what I can actually see from here is the fish are actually holding up up that back channel. They are like in here as well. Two or three floating about in there, but the majority of the fish are actually up in behind. That one's just taken off the top then. Don't know whether to move up to air and give it yet. There we go. There you go. Then. Yeah, I think I'm going to come up here and give this one a bash. I think the fish are pushed into here. Nothing's happening in that other swim. So, let's give this one a go. Well, since being up the tree, which is right there, I'll come around the other side. Because when I moved over here, they were uh, patrolling up and down this channel. But since coming around there, they've now pushed back over the other side. But they are holding up in here, I've noticed. And that's where the bigger fish seems to be holding up. I've seen nothing come up, a couple of little shows and things like that, but nothing like really taking the bait off the top you know what I mean it's gone very very quiet as the day pushed on obviously we're coming up a lot of quarter to ten now but keep going at that see what happens this fish is coming across now I mean he's small I don't want the smaller fish I really want one of the bigger ones now they're not massive they're not massive fish but you know you can see them over there definitely Definitely very wary fish. I don't know what, I'm gonna stick my straight on top of the set and see what happens. It's all I'm doing. Right, as you can tell, I'm back in the car now. So, that's the end of the day for me. Managed that one, which I'm happy with. We're cracking looking fish. It's not massive, but what a stunning looking fish. That's all I can say about that. So, yeah, basically, I'm, I'm kind of working the water out a bit. First light seems to be when it's been happening most. So, come at past eight, nine o'clock, it seemed to switch off, we've got 10 to 11 now. So I gave it a little bit more time, but it's kept putting freebies out there, and it's, it's just a waste, it's a waste of bait when they're not coming up and taking it, they're just cruising around because the sun's out. So, call it a day there. If I'm up early enough tomorrow, I might pop back in, try and nick another one, obviously, there are some pretty decent fish in there. The ones I've seen to 
be getting oh, the nicer ones, prettier looking ones, but I want at least a double out of it. That is my goal. So I'm going to leave it at that for now, and I will catch up with you on another video. Hopefully back down here. I am fishing Broadlands on Wednesday. I'm only doing this a day session, so that one will hopefully go to bag for you. I think Wayne's jumping in on for a 24 on that day as well. I think he's doing Tuesday till the Wednesday. So I think we're doing four till four, Tuesday till Wednesday. And then I'll be jumping in Wednesday morning, eight till four, only on a day session. Yeah. But I'm hoping to get float get back out. Pressure is dropping again during the week and the wind's starting to die down. So we're hoping to get back in, uh, I believe he wants to go nine. I'm happy to go back in 10. Obviously, produced a few fish the other day. I'm going to leave it there. Happy days. Catch you next time. And again, back down the local res. Uh, not much happening. Oh, he's taking right in front of me there, as I said. It. <laughs> but yeah, I've, I've not put a lot of bait out there actually. I'm trying to keep it to a little bit more of a minimum. About two half pouches. Dog biscuits, start in the middle, well, just out literally around about here. That's where I, yesterday I was seeing the majority of the bigger fish taken. Obviously, that's what I want to get. I want to get one of the bigger ones out of here. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to put another little half pouch out there. I might go a little bit beyond if I need to swing around the other side rather than catching the other ones. Then I'm going to have to do that and I go with the fish right in. I'm trying to draw them into this bit here, it's a little bit more open, a bit more playroom. There we go, there's one taken up top right there. Right in this chase, right here. There we go, look. Right, I'm going to get the rod out there. I think these fish are going to be very finicky. I'm a bit wary about what's been going on lately, so I'm not going to hang around. Plus, I've not got long. Good old first cast, and it has literally done me in the weeds right here. There's a lot of carpet weed out there. Don't know if the fish is still on. It's only got barbless hook on it. Wasn't much better fish as well. Literally first cast right in there. Come up, took it, done me over in these pads here. Managed to pull it out, and then it's dragged me all the way along here. I've just put the bait runner on just to see if it's going to release itself or if it's pulled the hook. Uh, I think it might have done me. Oh, God's sake. That was a much better fish as well. Uh, yeah, I think it's done me in them. I'm going to pick a weed over there, so... That's the problem. That is the problem. But this is why I use a barbless hook in somewhere like there. Because things like that, if, if fish pulls you in, it can, it's not going to damage itself, it can release itself. It's still taking off the top out there, so... Oh, God's sake! <laughs> the fish didn't come off. <laughs> it's cracking looking common as well, it's not massive. It's better, it's a lot better what I've been getting. But, oh, first cast, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just, oh, I'm gonna spin the camera. Look at this, look at this. It's one of the doubles. Seven ounces. Look at that. What an absolute stunning fish that is. So happy with this one. So happy with this one. I've got to say, it's not about the size when it comes to these fish, it's about the location. Look at that. Got a little, uh, 
one scale missing from a previous wound. Apart from that, what an immaculate looking fish. I'll show you the other side quick. You can see where the uh, scale was missing on the tail there, just down by the, above the um, anal fin. Look at that. Happy bloody days. You can get us cut stills of this one, get it slipped back. Happy days. Good boy. Literally, the fish are just cruising around out there, not even sniffing around. They are literally going straight underneath my bait, not taking any of the freebies. They just switch off at nine o'clock. Don't know, it's weird. I'm gonna um, have a little wander up to the other end. Now this wind's gone, we got it's literally flat calf calm here, so I'm gonna, do it. I'm gonna venture up to the, where the um, dog kennel, piece of dog kennel swim, I think is what they call it. Put like freebies out there and see what's happening up that end. So I've not actually fished up there yet. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to reel in. I'm going to go do that. I'll show you that to spend the day. All right, that's the kit all packed up. Unfortunately, not enough time in the day. They are still taking, but not like they are first light. So if anyone is coming down there, make sure you're here first light, and you will catch them. Honestly, they're, people are saying it's so hard to catch them, but you will get them. So I just spoke to one of the uh, local fellas. He's the one that actually stopped the lake over 50 years ago, from what he was saying. Fair play to the guy. It's him that actually does a bit of cleaning up. He's fishing just up the top there. Unfortunately, couldn't show you that swim because that's where he's fishing. He said the big ones do come out of there. But I'm back. Well, I had uh, two from free 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 fish uh, but yeah that's me done for the day now but i am gonna be doing a 24 over at broadland so you'll find that will probably be the next video that we put up all being where we catch because we don't like to put blank sessions up which recently we've not had many of so doing pretty well doing pretty well but yeah Let's like say tactics for fishing here. All, all I've been doing is using like a little bubble float from Corum, and then using a bit of zig line, about four foot, five foot long, with a size eight wide gate barbless, and then just tying a band onto that, and then putting a Nash upper layer floating pellet on, feeding dog biscuits, and then putting that over the top. But it is one of them that they do get in a bit of a frenzy. But as soon as you put a bait out there, they will be spooked away. So just bear that in mind and be patient and keep plucking away at it. And you will catch them if you are coming down there. Like I say, it's, it's just not the size of the fish when it comes to somewhere like this. It's the location. And actually getting among the fish is what it's about. And that is what I find more exciting than anything. So you can go to any commercial fishery and catch to come somewhere like this and catch is a complete different ball game you know what i mean well, look what you're fishing to right i'm gonna leave it there so i'll catch up with you next time take care